Nigerians as the scarcity of fuel and the long queues are causing inconvenience and economic hardship for many. The federal government has denied giving any directive to marketers to raise the pump price of petrol from 165 per liter to 185. This denial came a day after marketers raised the price of petrol following a memo from federal government's own NNPC Retails Limited, Minister of Pet State for Petroleum Resources, Timmy Pereceva, in a statement says President Mamadou Buhari has not approved any price increase for PMS as reported in the media as there is no reason to go back on his earlier promise to maintain the current price regime. Jide, saboteurs everywhere. Day before yesterday, I had to I queue for when I couldn't stand the number of hours I was staying at the major market, a major filling station. I had to go to one um, third rated <laughs> minor marketer mm -hmm. to buy for 270 per liter, and it didn't take me five minutes. I feel my yes, time mm -hmm. instead of going through that hustle. Mm -hmm. Now they said from 165, I've been to now 180 something. A lot of people felt right. that, oh. Government should just take a stand on this. But the federal government, they are <coughs> dealing, dialing. I, I don't know the kind of attitude, and nobody is telling us anything. Really, you, you expect that the people concerned will explain to Nigerians why we have this scarcity. Ordinarily, October, November, January, December, January. Ordinarily, Heads should have ruled. Ah, ah. How many days that Nigerians election? have been subjected to this pain hardship for months. I remember, you know, in all these cases, I always believe this market has more. They told us that this scarcity will not end soon. Mm. That it will not end even after the Yule tide. We have seen that it has not. Of ended. course, we. I've seen clearly now that this problem will be there for some time. What marketers are telling us is that there is still inadequate supply of the product. And where you do not have adequate supply, the kind of things that we are seeing will be happening. If there is enough supply to go around, mm. how would anybody hold? How will anybody have supply and say, Impossible. I don't want to say? In Lagos, for that matter. What you see that a lot of filling stations don't have the product. Or those who some can't buy at the rate that they are. Not profitable. Yes, telling them to buy it. In my degree, I was in my degree for seven days. Well, it's 310 naira per liter. Wow. Some will say 320 per liter in my degree. In my village, it is 280. No? Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> if you... Because darkness is constant. Hmm. If you don't have solar, then you have to keep buying petrol every day at 280 per liter. In Akute, it is 250 per liter. They have stock. Mm -hmm. Go and buy. So no queue. Okay. But if you want to buy at a one much lower rate, one, yes. uh, 185, one you see you queues. Yes. People will exchange blows. They mm. will damage your the car. The major marketers. I know that. Uh, so this is what we are seeing. Is um, it looks like the the deregulate. Sean regime has even started. Honest. My younger brother was coming from Ogi State yesterday when he got to Ibadan. He saw them selling at uh, 280. He bought it. No queue? Yes, no queue. He walked away. So this is no what we are time. saying. This is what we are saying. Nobody has come out to say, gentlemen, we are facing this uh, problem at this time. Things will get better. Because there is no reason for us to say we are still going through regulation 
and oh. people are asking has kicked in. Because this is what we are seeing across Some the Nigerians are ready to buy. Only a few. Major marketers and the people who have de uh, depot owners, mm. only a few of them are selling at uh, uh, 185. The bulk of the people, the independent marketers, they are selling above because they are in business to make money. Mm. They too are buying from depot owners and those depot owners are not giving them at the rate in which they will make money if they were to sell at the government approved price. So let's know where we are going. If, we, if the, the regulation is, in fact, for Nigerians, I don't think um, it, can, it can get even worse than this. Mm. I can't get, now in Lagos, you hardly will see, um, what's it called? Um, black market sellers. Mm -mm. Uh, but these days, they are all over the place. Mm -hmm. I even saw a woman, a woman, it was in Abuja, it was in Abuja, you know, in Karu, that I first saw a woman by the roadside uh, doing black market. Mm -hmm. But in Lagos, I saw a woman now selling uh, petrol. So, it's, it's, it's that bad. What about the pain inflicted on people moving now to go from point to point, some people are spending up to 1,200 naira a day. Our salaries are not going up. You say 1,200 naira on transport, and salaries are not going up. It, it is only making life unbearable for our people. And as a matter of fact, you know, to, to this harsh weather to compound the whole thing, you get home, there's no electricity, I mean, there's no power supply, mm. and uh, you have to depend on before yeah. you put on yeah. a generating set to get power supply and you get on the road, mm. um, transport um, workers, they've increased transportation. I think it's almost uh, three months now. When the president came in 2015, President Buhari, uh, resolving the fuel crisis was one of his major achievements for a very long time. Yes. There was no, we were all happy compared yes. with the previous years. I'm so surprised that few months to his exit, mm. something that people have, you know, praised like you or past. him has been, then you now bring this problem back again to now remind people of what the pains and agony they used to pass through, you know, in the past years, years gone by. I traveled to Akure last week. I drove down to Akure. I, I, between in the, in the thick of the forest, any position that you see there, some sell 400 naira. Because hmm. you will see there. there you no, 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 no. You will be compared to buy. Yes, you almost In the it. town, 280. Mm -hmm. And come and see the chaos. Even on the highway. People struggling to, you know. And mm -hmm. we now find that, you know, you have to spend more time on the, on the road. Even in Lagos now. Queues everywhere. Yes. Yes. So if you are going somewhere, where you're spending traffic, minutes, yes. you end up spending about, mm. you know, three hours. Then the risk. People are being compared to go and to be storing fuel at home, mm. which can lead to a lot of, uh, you know. Then we also discover that people are being forced to just buy the fuel available. And you discover that some of these fuel, the fuel are you know, also being sold to people. Mm. So the damage is going to do to people's cars. Engine. Transport fare has gone up. From here to uh, Abuja has gone up. From here to it used to be 5,000. Now it's 7,000 naira. People coming from the east. Yes. <laughs> and come here at the time that people are supposed to relax. You know, Christmas time, you are on holiday, you want to relax after working for 12 months. The world's in high place. They are not happy with us, what is going on. And you mm. continue to wonder do we have internal saboteurs within the party mm. that wants to create some, you know, because they are not happy about the outcome of the primary? Because I don't think any party, you know, consciously will do this kind of thing. Uh -uh. You know, few weeks before the, you know. So, well, the good thing is that a new government will come in in May. And I believe that this problem will be one of the first problems that will be solved. But it's a very bad thing, what we are going through at this time. It's very unfortunate. You know, we've seen most of the candidates, and they've not missed word in saying it, that, look, whether we like it or not, they are going to remove subsidy. I think it's, um, it's uh, something that is inevitable. Yes, but um, we can't blame the presence of subsidy for supply hiccups. Mm. There are still some inefficiencies in the system that 
I don't think merely removing subsidy will take away. For example, when they brought in adulterated fuel the other day, that adulterated fuel led to fuel scarcity. Yes. It led to fuel scarcity. Since that time, we've not. Because we had to then wait for supply of healthy looking fuel to come in to dilute the unfortunate uh, 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 presence of, of, uh, of uh, contaminated fuel in the system. So even if, you, if subsidy has been removed, it is still possible for such inefficiency and nonsense to happen because it was imported from somewhere. It should have been thoroughly checked. We had regulators whose duty is to check to, uh, to ensure that, look, the fuel being brought into our country met the required no, standards. I'm sure if somebody that failed to do his work and we allow that kind of uh, fuel to be past fit mm. for consumption in our country, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> even removal subsidy will not take away some of those inefficiencies. Mm. There are f fat cuts. In the, in the oil sector, some of those fat cuts need to be identified and shown the door. Otherwise, oh, the, the pains right now. of Nigerians will not end. There is a lot of corruption in that system, a lot of corruption in the, in the oil sector. Mm. We don't even know a new regime has to know the number, I mean, in, in the, the, the exact amount mm. of petrol that we consume in a given day. Accurate. With a gun to my neck, I will not agree that we consume the co at the current levels that they are telling us. So we need to even know how, 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 how much petrol do we even consume on a given day. Yes, the, the subsidy thing allowed for a lot of corruption because the more you claim that you bring in, mm. the more money for the fat cats. That's a fact. But in my view, uh, the coming of the subsidy regime will not put an end to all the corruption in the system and all the inadequacies. They will still have to, they will regroup and still find other ways to ask a way to still continue to, uh, to, to steal from the people. This kind of hardship has increased um, cost inflation. Yeah, because everything is attached to transportation yeah. Food, and food. Yes. Everything has gone up. And the question I ask myself is this. Does it mean that Nigeria has no strategic oil reserve? Mm -hmm. Because what other countries do is that they look at, you know, a moment of crisis, you open up the reserve temporarily. Mm -hmm. So I think this is time states like Lagos, Kano, where there is serious heavy industrial, Kaduna, Rivers, Enugu, should think of building strategic oil reserve so that when we have a crisis like this, they can open up that reserve at least to, you know, ameliorate mm. the sufferings that people are having. Stabilize prices. Yeah. Mm. All right. If you think the crisis in the People's Democratic Party is ending anytime soon,